So the, the basic premise, the basic two points that I think uh, lead to antinatalism are that A, everything that you do is built on, you know, you are a feeding machine. Everything that you do is, is based on feeding on another organism. Something, something has to die in order for you to live, right? And then in the end, B is that you will become food yourself. Something else will feed on you when, after you die. Those are the two things that I think are the most important uh, in understanding of like the antinatalist worldview. Is that you are a feeding machine and that you will become food. Now, this um, seems to become a, a moral issue for an antinatalist. Um, morals, I think, uh, have a, a genetic uh, explanation. You know, there's, there's something within us that, uh, that you know, in, in our society we treat people that are uh, that are unduly cruel that are like you know extra violent or to take advantage of the, the people in the the tribe you know if there's someone that takes advantage of people in the tribe that's immoral that's seen as like immoral because you know you're not you're not contributing to the to the health and growth of the tribe um, of course, that doesn't apply to war because tribes, uh, the tribe is interested in itself only. So when it goes to war and it kills other people and it steals from them and it loots them, and does all these things. That's, you know, that's justified violence. So, like our moral system is based around um, it's a it's a social kind of meme that's based around. Uh, protecting and contributing to the health of the tribe. Um, but we're kind of like post, you know, we're post-tribal these days. We're, we live in a global society um, where where tribes are either really small or really big, you know, and they're not clearly defined as they were in the past. Um, so people in their, in this individualistic society that we live in, you know, people are free to use that moral impulse to look out on to different things and to judge them based on their own system of morals, you know. It's still the same kind of tribal impulse, but it's it's extended to different realms of what we, you know, what we see as individuals, what we don't like. The things that we don't like is immor are immoral. And what the anti nihilist does is they um, they use that moral impulse to look at just everything, just the cosmos, you know, the universe itself, and to say, oh, this is, this is bad. This is not, this is immoral. You know, everything is food, everything feeds on everything else. This is not good. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, it, it is what it is. I... <laughs> I, I think I think you have to realize that that's what's going on, you know, is that like, you know, we're not going to be, a, you know, to say like, we're not going to be a part of this, uh, the system of exploitation that, that is the universe, you know, I, if, you know, I just think that, uh, that it seems, you know, it seems like to a lot of people, um, they realize that and they cope with it they either forget they choose to forget about it or they um you know they find a way to better the system around them or whatever but the majority of people don't don't spend their mental energy focusing on you know their moral objection to the to the uh universe itself so, yeah, I think, I think it's, it's kind of a, it's a, 
obviously a dead end. I mean, I think anti-natalists would even say that's what the, the goal is, is to, to stop it, to stop this. But, you know, the only thing that will happen if, you know, say everyone on the on the earth decides to to uh, stop reproducing, um, you know, some other organism will come along that doesn't, just doesn't care about it, doesn't care, doesn't have the same moral objections that our particular species with our particular way of looking at things, you know, uh, looks at reality. I don't think, and uh, to, to use our, you know, we have a very specific, uh, unique way of analyzing and describing the world and, and perceiving the world. It's very unique to us. It's not universal. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just purely, uh, you know, a human, a human thing. And, uh, if, if the goal is for every human to die off, then, uh, you know, okay, the, the, you know, that, that, that won't happen. I mean, we won't consciously go into extinction, you know, consciously. I mean, something will have to happen to us in order for that to happen. We, we will have to destroy ourselves in some unconscious way or some accidental way or something else will have to destroy us. Um, but even if we did, it, uh, it won't stop the universe won't stop life. Life will continue to go on. It will continue to be the same kind of system of, of uh, feeding and and being fed upon. You know. So that's it. That's that's my take on it.